scheduled in the heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. He weighed in at an official 286 pounds. His professional record stands at no wins with three defeats. From Bakersfield, California, ladies and gentlemen, Cody Sons. And his opponent standing across the ring, fighting out of the red corner. He weighed in at an official 292 pounds. His professional record stands a perfect one. Two wins with no defeats with two wins coming by way of knockout. From Las Vegas, Nevada, ladies and gentlemen, DeAndre Savage. We go to Gary Ritter for your instructions. One thing about it, Justin, it only takes one shot when these guys are heavyweights. So it's hard to pick a guy. Absolutely. Uh, Cody Sons coming in with a uh, on paper disadvantage, 0 and 3 as a uh, professional boxer. DeAndre Savage, 2 2 and 0, two wins by KO, undefeated. In one way or the other, the O must go in this fight. You're right. <laughs> Here we go. This is going to be a very interesting one. DeAndre's definitely been training for for an opponent. Cody's going to give it his all. He's one of those people that. DeAndre is on the hunt. Cody's looking for that counter shot. Oh, punch in the back of the head. <laughs> Referee Gerald Ritter warning DeAndre Savage about punching in the back of the head. Sometimes it's hard when you get in that clinch. You want to hit in the back of the ear, but you end up hitting the back of the head, especially in long arms, long range like these uh, super heavyweights have. Oh, good, good left hook. Oh, slipped up. He's committing everything to those punches. That's why, you know, he's end up falling forward like that. Well, one thing about a, a, a guy like that that's wild and awkward, you could get called. You just have to be careful in there. Absolutely. He kind of reminds me of uh, uh, the uh, Hawaiian MMA fighter, Wesley Cabbage Carrera, the way he fights. Kind of gives everything he has to every single punch. And, you know, in the early rounds, it it may prove to be something good for him. But being especially a heavyweight fight like this, questionable cardio, later on that's going to that's definitely going to, uh, you know, prove to be troublesome in the later rounds. Looks like he clipped him in the back of the ear there. That's it. He's going to call him. He can't get to the feet at the proper time. A lot of that, I think, was wind. Questionable cardio. It was pretty – it was real, really close, Justin, uh, right behind the ear there. Referee called a stop to that contest at two minutes, four seconds of round number one. Your winner moving on to three and O, oh, DeAndre Savage. DeAndre looked like he had some pretty good stuff. He was taking his time. He was working behind the jab and uh, just kind of waiting. It was just a matter of time, you can tell. Absolutely. Three and O oh in a, a young professional boxing career, even you know at, at the heavyweight uh, heavyweight weight class right now. He's still, I think, left untested. Definitely, and and you can't learn a lot about these first round knockouts. You know, uh, you want your fighter to get in a little more work than that. But uh, hey, if you can put the guy down and put him to sleep, put him to sleep. Absolutely, absolutely. But I mean, you know, hats off to both of these fighters. It takes, you know, it takes real real men to get in there and fight. Cody Sons leaning over, talking to his corner, telling him that uh, you know he couldn't he couldn't really see straight whenever he was down there like that. So, good call by the referee with the with the uh, ten count, wasn't able to answer the count, and uh, your winner by by knockout. 
DeAndre Savage. And we're going to uh, pitch it to Gerald Whalen, our ring announcer for the evening. Ladies and gentlemen, this bout ends at two minutes and four seconds into the first round. Your winner by TKO out of the red corner, DeAndre Savage.